Hello, it's Megan Barella here, your happy home and positive parenting guide. I'm so excited to be here today with Becky Lord, who is a happy home mom, and she is a former math and special education teacher, and now is a math co coach and consultant for teachers. Becky, thank you so much for being here today. And to get started, we'd love to hear a little bit about what you do. Yeah, thank you for having me. So I, for the past 11 years, I was a math and special education teacher for middle school kids um, in special education and then at the elementary level as well as a coach. And then I just began consulting. So now I'm offering training for schools and districts and teachers. I have an online course I offer and um, I do professional development for schools on math and special education. Awesome. And where can um, people learn more about your work? You can learn more at my website, lordmath.com, L-O-R-D math.com. Love it. Becky, I'm, I'm so excited to hear from you today because I feel like you're such the embodiment of the clients I work with. Your consciousness is super high. You're always working on yourself and your personal growth and transformation. And you're really committed to giving your son the best possible foundation as possible. Um, and you already have such a solid foundation to work with. So within that all being said, like what was your, your reason? Why did you enroll in Happy Home Coaching? And I didn't say this before, but let's not use your son's name in the recording. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. So when I found you, Megan, um, back in a few months ago, um, I was in a place where I was doing a lot of work, like you said, I was aware there were some things that I wanted to do differently from my own childhood. And so I had done some growth work and I wanted my son to have more of an emotional experience. You know, emotions weren't really part of my childhood. They weren't really allowed at just the culture of that time. And so I wanted something different for him. But then what was happening is when things were going well, I would feel good. And then all of a sudden when he wasn't cooperating or something would go wrong, I would feel really frustrated and he would get frustrated and I wasn't sure what to do. I would just feel stuck. I didn't want to fall into old patterns, but I didn't know what to do differently instead. And I also just wasn't sure what's healthy for him as a child at different ages developmentally. What, like I wanted to give him the best parenting I could. And I just didn't know I'd get stuck all the time. Yeah, totally. I mean, I think that that summarizes so many of the reasons that people do find me for that emotional support and, you know, those cooperation when things aren't going well with our kids. Um, and so what do you feel like are some of the benefits and the changes that you've experienced in your family and your relationship with your son? And also we, after working together for a while, you actually decided to bring your your co-parent and your son's father, which has been an incredible experience working with both of you. So could you talk a little bit about the benefits and changes in your home with your son and also in your co-parenting team? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And so like I said, there are definitely were things I knew I wanted to do differently. Something I wasn't even really aware of was that I even had emotional needs. And so just not even having that awareness at the beginning, I didn't realize that that's part of where I was struggling. And so by working with you, you've given me so many, so much wisdom and so many insights that have opened my eyes and helped me understand what was happening. Um, and so becoming more aware of my emotional needs and learning how to take care of those in the moment and that it's okay to take care of my own emotional needs in the moment. You don't have to be like a sacrifice all of myself just for my child, but also be present for him. I wanted to be a mom that was emotionally supportive and present for him as well and developmentally, you know, aligned with what he was ready for at his age. And so I have learned so much from you about how to both care for him um, and his emotional needs and support him and my own. And then from that, we've really come to a place of where we can stay connected now in those moments, rather than getting frustrated and shutting down or getting mad at each other. We're able to, you know, both feel our emotions and stay more connected and just, you know, things still happen, but now we can, re we can work through them a lot better together. So beautiful. And your background in education, I mean, you came into the experience highly skilled and with a lot of tools. And yet we were able, it was so beautiful to see this magic, which I feel like is the magic we're doing for you. And also all of us as parents in this generation where we were able to anchor into your emotional needs and just like watch you really integrate this and like hold this container for yourself. And then yes, bring in the tools. We develop those specific plans to use with your son. 
it really did feel like though it was like this emotional container for yourself, which kind of allowed like everything just went <laughs> like into place and in those moments, you know, to stay in that place of connection, which is what we want. So it was it's been so beautiful to witness. What do you feel like is unique about working with me and going through the happy home coaching framework? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, first of all, you have so much wisdom and insight. And like we said, I have done work, I have training and yet, and I've worked with, you know, other programs, but I just have gotten so much insight from you and wisdom about things that were really specific to me and the dynamic and how to create this ongoing connection, you know, even when things are getting difficult. Um, you also create such a safe space, which was really important. So now, as you mentioned, I'm attending along with my son's dad, we, we co-parent together. Um, so that has its own dynamic and it's just been wonderful to both be able to come together and both feel supported and safe and get guidance and insight on the things So we've been able to talk about things together with you that we would have struggled to talk about on our own or, you know, just seemed like my opinion or his opinion, and then we were stuck. And so to really be able to come together and get guidance and a, a safe place from you um, about what is healthy for our child, how to understand and address our own emotional needs, and then, you know, really create what we want as a family. Yeah. And again, it's just been amazing to witness because you two are really dedicated and doing what's best for your son and really came in and do, did a high level, I would say even some rigorous inner work and work on your communication together. So um, again, really celebrating you and your family. What would you say about parents who are thinking about enrolling in happy home coaching, especially because it is a higher investment than a lot of other parenting classes or even going to a therapist who might be covered by your insurance why what's different about happy home coaching um and what would you recommend to parents who are thinking about enrolling mm -hmm. well I would absolutely recommend it um it's been the best choice I've made um so I think you know for me I know the emotional well-being of my child is the most important thing to me that he grow up with a strong foundation um so that he's uh, grows into a responsible, happy, successful human being, you know, just as he is. And so the investment for that has been so worthwhile to me. Um, and I think, you know, it's great to have the online course is a great piece to be able to access all that training, have it all structured for me rather than spend the time trying to find it all online or look for resources. So that's been a wonderful resource. And then also just your insights, because I think there were still things that even with my own work, I wasn't seeing, I just didn't know or understand. And so though that combination has been such a great help to us. Beautiful. And I've loved to connect the dots that way with all the strengths that are already in your family. Thank you so much, Becky, for your time today. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we wrap up today? Just thank you. Thank you for all your support. And thank you for how it supported me and my family and my son. Oh, you are so welcome. It's been a joy and a gift. Thanks so much, Becky. And thanks to everyone who's listening.